here in this video we will talk about chi square now chi square is a test that is applicable for parametric as well as non parametric data non parametric data it is applicable for both scenarios but today in this video we will specifically be talking about chi square as a non parametric test now when we are given a question which we need to solve using chi square certain scenarios are possible but first let us see what is the formula for chi square and how the given scenario can affect us now the formula for chi square is observed minus expected square upon expected and a summation of all such cases what is o it is observed frequency observed frequency so when you perform an experiment when you go out for research O is the observed frequency which you observed over there in your experiment. What is E? It is expected frequency. Now, whenever you perform an experiment, you go for research, you expect some kind of frequency. Or if you are getting a bivariate data, then looking at the totals, we get some idea of what kind of frequency was expected. So, we'll be comparing that expected frequency against the observed frequency. We'll see this when we get there. For now, the questions that will be given can be given in multiple ways. First one is the simplest one, where both observed and expected frequency is given. These are the simplest ones. Both observed and expected frequencies are given. Then second one is O and E, observed and expected frequency is not given directly but is evident from given data so first one is very straightforward simple case where observed and expected frequency is given second one is observed and expected frequency is not given directly but is almost evident from the given information. When we come across such questions, you'll see that it is almost evident what the observed and expected frequencies should have been. Third ones are where some kind of table is given. Now this table is for bivariate data, of course. So we'll be given some kind of table for that. And from that table, uh, some kind of table will be given with observed frequencies. And we calculate E. Now, can you see the difference first time we are calculating E? In first kind of questions, both were given. In second kind of question, both were not given but they were evident. Observed and expected are given. So if we differentiate, the case is, in first case, observed and expected are given. Second, they are not given, but they are evident. In third case, observed is given, while expected is left to us. We calculate it somehow. We'll make use of some formula and We'll do those things when we get there again, once again. And last case that could happen over here is that some kind of probability experiment is given. Is given. And we are expected to find 
some kind of probability experiment is given o is given and e is to be calculated so these are the four kinds of questions that we may come across when we are studying chi square test for non parametric data okay and as far as formula is concerned in each of these first second third or fourth case formula will be limited to this this is the only formula that will be making use of to find out chi square only now here we will take a very straight forward question with in which o and e observed and expected frequencies both are given because this being our first discussion on chi square we should take a question with in which we can understand this these relationships in which we can understand the chi square table the chi square formula so first we'll take this simple case and then we'll move on to some advanced cases so for the simple case let us import a question and then we'll see what we can do about it so here we have our question now if we have a look at this question we see that there are certain frequencies which are very small we have a frequency of 29 44 15 24 38 24 these frequencies are very good no issues but in chi square we generally follow a principle that if frequencies are below 10 then such categories are merged with their neighboring categories like i am actually taking category a and category b with frequencies 29 24 and a having 8 and 7 but if a is having frequencies less than 10 then what i'll do is i'll combine a with b and i'll form a new group instead of having two groups a and b i'll be having a group a plus b and their frequencies also will be added similarly we are having an issue over here so e will be added to b so this is a little adjustment that we'll have to make whenever you get a chi square question first thing you need to check is whether there are any frequencies that are falling below 4 if that is the case please combine the nearby categories so once we have combined these two we'll have a different kind of table let us make that table and proceed further so here we have a table which is slightly different as compared to this one now here i'll be calling class a and b have been combined so i'll call this category as a plus b a b are together c is okay to go b and e again have been combined so i'll call this category d and e then we have a plus b so 8 plus 29 would make it a 30 27 c is 44 no issues and these two are combining to make 19 24 plus 7 will give me a 31 38 and 31 so what was this observed and this was expected so here are our observed and expected frequencies after certain modifications because chi square needs to have all frequencies above 10 and certain frequencies are falling down so i combined their nearby categories i combined a and b and i combined b and e so here is our table now what we need is o minus e then a square of o minus e then that thing be divided by e so we get o minus e next will be o minus e square and last one will be o minus e square divided by e okay so what will be o minus e it will be in this case a plus b combined so now they are not separate for me they are a b this is d e so o minus e observed and expected o minus e is 6 44 minus 38 is again 6 19 minus 31 will give me a 
minus 12. Now I need squares of these, no issues. 4 minus e square, so 6 square will be a 36, 6 square will be again a 36, and minus 12 square will give me a 144. And when I divide them by e, so O minus e square divided by e, so this becomes 36 O minus e square divided by e. This becomes O minus e square that is 36 divided by 38 and this last one becomes 144 O minus e square divided by e which is 31 giving me if I solve these I get. So these are the values O minus e square upon e. But remember the formula, I need summation of all such O minus E square by E's. So I need summation of all these. So what will be the value if I try to add them all? And that summation is called, sorry, O minus E whole square upon E. That summation is called chi square. So I get chi square as 6.747. So that was chi square for you. Was that easy? This was first kind of chi square. You need to take care. Only one thing you need to take care in such cases is that frequency should not be less than 10. If it is less than 10, we go ahead and combine it with the neighboring partner. Otherwise, I feel this was a very easy question. We can definitely attempt these chi-squared questions. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.